Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'm looking at three notebooks from the Australian notebook brand My Paperclip. I have these three notebooks here. These cover uh, three parts of the range of what they do. We've got the Signature Series, the Executive Series and the Limited Edition Series. Um, they all have kind of different paper and things like that. So I'm going to just uh, give a brief rundown of each and then show the paper tests and all that kind of stuff. Now, a few weeks ago, now more than a few weeks ago, I did a little uh, first impressions unboxing kind of thing. So you can watch that to get a sense of you know how they come packaged, all those kinds of things. I'll link to that down below. This is a bit more of a comprehensive paper test, a few more writing instruments and a few more details about things. Um, so... I'm going to start here with the limited edition series. This is the Lilac version. Now, all these notebooks are fairly standard A5 size, which is great. Uh, they all have a ribbon and they all have an elastic, a ribbon there, and an elastic. Um, so I'm just going to cover basic parts and features and then show the paper. So rounded corners, which is always nice. This is a nice sturdy cardstock cover. Um, I like that a lot. It's it's strong it's rugged the pages go right up to the edge of the cut um a lot of notebooks say like you know have a bit of an over you know a hangover there these ones all run right up to the edge which is kind of nice um so sturdy elastic uh you know nothing sort of too uh you know sort of rigid with a little gentle manipulation the books lie flat open which is always great uh, and uh, it's a lot of it's to do with that thread binding that this one has and that sort of a uh, soft uh, open out spine which allows the the notebook to sit nice and flat the features that uh, more notebooks should take into consideration okay uh, this one has no back pocket and just a little bit of sort of social media information all that kind of stuff on the back there and then simple branding on the back this is a nice color it comes in a range of different colors in the limited edition series and they all have these same features so here is the uh the test pages so this section up here is what i did in the original video so i've just expanded on it and put a bit of information so let's talk about that a5 so 148 by 210 millimeters or 5.83 by 8.27 inches this has 176 ruled pages and the ruling is seven millimeter which is a great ruling size it's also got 16 perforated pages here at the back which are blank and there's a, a light sort of perforation uh, there that you can kind of make out uh, so 192 pages in all the cover is, and I'm probably going to say this wrong, Wibbelin from Winter and Company in the UK. So that's the kind of cardstock that the covers um, are made of, which is, you know, solid and quite durable, although being cardstock, not as durable as some other materials, of course. The paper is 100 GSM Munken Polar, or pure rough paper, and that is from Sweden. Munken paper is really nice paper. Uh, it's paper I've enjoyed in other notebooks. I generally find it performs pretty well, uh, and it's great everyday paper. Um, so, so this is an Australian-based brand, uh, but they are made in India. So, so this is the ruled version, as you can see, uh, simple ruled lining very nice though uh and a nice sort of dark gray line which i appreciate uh it also comes in like a grid or check pattern and plain uh so blank pages uh this one retails for 29 dollars 90 australian so it's a really decent sort of price point a lot of m way more expensive notebooks that use this same paper that are, uh, are on the market as I said, it's got elastic and a ribbon no back pocket and it lays flat so now let's look at how things perform. I've got some fountain pens up here and I've used the same pens for all three notebooks. So I'm just going to run through them here and then we can look at them in the other ones. So I have Robert Oster Melbourne Tram Green Ink in a Twisby Go Extra Fine, a nice light coloured ink. Robert Oster inks can tend to look a little bit more washed out on some paper. So this one we get actually a nice sense of that green. Diamine Oxford Blue in the Jinhao X159 fine. It's a relatively broad fine. And that is can be an aggressive ink. So we'll see how a lot of these papers perform with a stronger ink. Sailor Rikuchar in a Waterman Kareen fine. Diamine Earl Grey in a Penlux Masterpiece Grande with a medium nib. Um, getting Not getting a whole lot of shading, just maybe, maybe just a touch of shading uh, from that ink, which is generally shades quite nicely. Uh, 
And then a Sailor Colt Pens Blue Iris ink in the Pilot Custom 823 with a broad nib. And then Noodler's Base State Blue, uh, that ink that can destroy paper uh, in a Jinhao 992 fine nib. I think the color looks great. Actually, all the colors are pretty good here. Uh, this is said, Munkin paper is a nice paper. On the other side, we've got Pilot Black in a Pilot Custom, 8, uh, Custom 74 with a medium nib. Unipin Black Fine Liner, Muji Gel Pen, uh, 0.7, the Faber Castell Ballpoint, a black wing pencil, some highlighter over a ballpoint pen, um, a Pentel Energel 07 pen, and then I've done a 2B razor test, and you can see here, it hasn't taken up too much of it. That's just a couple of light passes with an eraser, just to see sort of the initial effect of it. So it, it's not, it's a sort of, that sort of rough paper of the Munkin paper, you know, giving a bit of a texture over there for the, the graphite of the pencil to stick into. And then of course, a Sharpie marker, which is an alcohol-based uh, pigment and will basically eat through anything. Then what I've done is I've done a little swatch here of Monteverde California Teal to see if we get any sheen. And we do. We get actually a nice hit of sheen. So maybe we're not going to pick up too much on this camera. You might just be able to see it there. But uh, we do get sheen, uh, which is lovely. Sort of more the halo sheen than the blanket sheen. So let's see how these perform. We'll start on the back of this page. Um, and you can see that even when we put down a large swatch of ink, it's kind of just tried to get through, but it hasn't really got there. Nothing else on this side has come through. It's so all the ball points, roller balls, all that kind of stuff. The Sharpie has come through, but I've definitely, definitely seen worse in other notebooks. And then if we look at the reverse of this other page, this is where we had all that diamond oxide blue for the description of the book, and then the other uh, pe fountain pens. The only thing that's come through is a couple of spots of the Jinhao with uh, Noodler's Base State Blue, which is a very, very aggressive ink. Uh, so that's actually performed super, super well. Now, in terms of the whiteness of this paper, this is a plain piece of uh, copy, white copy paper. You can see it's a slightly off-white, not super white, uh, but I think it's, a, it's definitely a white paper, just not super, super white. So this limited edition... Uh, series notebook with the Swedish Munken paper performs beautifully strong rugged cardboard style cover or cardstock cover well bound nice little things like the elastic and the ribbon and all that kind of thing a really nice notebook and particularly at that $29.90 price point next we're going to look here at the signature series um, and this is their sort of their premium line of these A5 notebooks um, once again, the rounded corners, the elastic and uh, ribbon, all in the matching colour, which I like as well. And there's a number of sort of colours. The, the Signature series is a more muted sort of um, colour range as opposed to like the bright colours of some of the other ones. Once again, this binding with a little bit of, uh, with a slight little bit of sort of manipulation does sit pretty flat. Maybe not as flat as the uh, limited edition series that we just saw before. It's a thread binding again, and uh, you, the little uh, uh, cover here sort of bends back on itself. This is um, obviously not real leather. And if we look in here at the back, we get the same uh, written tests. So I'll just go through a few of these details for you. So A5, 148 by 210 uh, millimeters, 5.83 by 8.27 inches. 176 ruled page pages, once again, that 7 mil rule, and then 16 colour pages. And what that means at the front, we've got these sort of craft coloured paper, uh, light brown craft paper in the front, 16 pages of that. So 192 once again in total. Um, the colour is a material called memory, which is 100% viscose or rayon uh, made in Italy. So it's, a, it's like a fake leather used for, often used things like upholstery and stuff like that, like a lot of these materials are. Uh, and uh, But you know, it, does, it, it makes a nice notebook cover. It's durable and uh, uh, not being real leather uh, covers a lot of issues there as well. So this is um, 100 GSM Prestige White Flora Gardenia uncoated paper from Gruppo uh, Cordonons in Italy once again. So this is a company made in India, sourcing stuff from all over the world to make this, uh, you know, these notebooks, which I really like. Australian brand made in India. Now this one is also available once again in that grid and plane. Uh, so some good options there. $39.90 for the signature series. It's a slightly higher price point for things like that, you know, more luxurious cover and all of those kinds of things. Yes, elastic, ribbon, no back pocket once again. Just the social media information and these craft coloured end pages. Uh, and it does lay flat with just a little bit of manipulation. 
So let's see how this paper performs with that same range of pens. We look at the back here, the ink swatch has come through a lot more here. None of the ball points and roller balls and that kind of stuff come through. The Sharpie marker comes through once again, just a little bit. And if we look at the reverse of this page, this is where all the fountain pens are, and we do get a bit more bleed through here. So uh, a number of the pens, particularly where we put down a bit more ink or the more aggressive inks, have spotted through a bit more. Now, it's not excessive. It's certainly not terrible. Um, but this is probably, of the three, the least fountain pen friendly. Um, and if we look at the even at the uh, swatch there, uh, there's no sheen on that either. The eraser, once again, not doing a lot of... Uh, still leaving quite a lot of uh, graphite on the page. So not the most fountain pen friendly, but if we look at those, once again, those roller balls and ball points, it performs beautifully. And actually, if we look up close, we actually get some lovely definition of the colors. Um, Riku Char showing some beautiful of those uh, greeny brown tones that that ink is famous for. Some nice shading even uh, in the uh, Diamine Oxford Blue. It looks good, like the colors all look really nice. It just bleeds just a little bit more than the others. Just while I remember, I'll just uh, do that white test again. So this is the white copy paper. You can see this is a little bit more off-white than uh, the Swedish Munken paper, but it's still, a ni it's n certainly not ivory or anything verging away from white, really. It's just not super white. So in terms of the signature series, at that slightly higher price point, what you're paying for, I think, is the quality of the cover and the more executive, well, even though it's not the executive series, but that more professional looking notebook. It is a lovely looking notebook and I really enjoy this brown cover. Uh, and the color range that these come in is really beautiful and the embossing on the back there is very nicely done. So lots to like, but uh, probably not the choice for fountain pens out of this range of notebooks. And then lastly, we get the Executive Series. Now, this is a really nice, very simple notebook. I like this a lot. It's got a slightly smaller profile, perhaps, uh, than the other ones. Still same rounded corners right up to the edge, matching elastic and ribbon. Uh, but this has a couple of extra little bits that I quite enjoy. Um, so firstly, um, simple end pages once again, all those kinds of things. This one has the back pocket. Uh, it's a, it's a light paper, so it has torn a little bit there, uh, but you know, nothing that a bit of wear and tear or a bit of sticky tape or something won't fix if you're particularly rough on these things. This one is in plain, and this paper, I'll quickly show it now, is closer, is more off-white than the other. And I like, really like this tone of paper, actually. Um, it's a smoother paper, and uh, that slightly off-white nature makes it a really nice paper to write on, uh, sort of in terms of the page contrast being just easier on the eyes, perhaps. Um, if we open it up, we get the basics information again and all my uh, written tests. So A5, same dimensions as the other one, 148 by 210 or 5.83 by 8.27 inches. 192 plain pages on this one, so all the same. The cover is that uh, Wibbelin Buck Buckram uh, from Winter and Company in the UK. The paper here is 80 GSM natural shade paper, and that's all they sort of give us. Um, and I, I like that, uh, it's simple. Um, it's an Australian-based brand, made in India, also comes in ruled. So this is a really simple series, plain and ruled, boom, there you go. $29.90 Australian, good price point. So yes, it has the elastic, the ribbon, a back pocket, and it does lay flat. This one lays flat easier than the others uh, in from my experience, I, I like it a lot. And this cover I find to be really nice and durable. Um, it's sort of, it's got a strength to it. It's, it's not coated, but it's sort of got a nice texture uh, to it. It's not just plain cardstock. I really enjoy this notebook a lot. Um, now we get sheen, more sheen than the other papers. Um, it's, this paper is smoother. It feels like a slightly higher weave than the others, or it's not coated, but it's, it's just got a slightly nicer, tighter uh, weave on it. Let's look at the reverse of this. We do get a few little spots. Now that is the ink coming through, but these aren't, these don't line up with the ink coming through. So it's like little spots in the paper. Um, occasionally a little like, you know, which it's natural paper. It's nice, but you do get that. Sharpie comes through a lot and there is a bit more show through. This is a lighter paper. So you can see through the page more than the others. Um, so that is gonna be something you have to decide whether that is a, a deal breaker for you. Now this slightly lighter paper does mean that on the fountain pen page here, the gin, the Noodler's Base State Blue has come through a bit more, but really not a lot else has. A couple of spots where the, the dye mine has come through, but 
it's mainly show through is the, is with this one, which I can live with personally. I use Tomo River paper and things like that for other notebooks, so I can live with that. Um, but I think in terms of the feel of the paper, and the color of the paper, and just some of those qualities of this notebook, I really like this executive series notebook. And it comes also in a range um, of colors as well. So there's a lot to like about this brand. They're doing some interesting things. Um, they're sourcing out interesting paper, interesting materials. They're not generically made notebooks. They're made for my paperclip in India. Um, and uh, they're looking at expanding the retail at the moment. It's mostly online, but they're looking at getting into you know some retailers and things like that, which would be great. They do a lot of other, they do have a range of other products as well. Um, so check out their website. I'll link to it below. But these are really nice notebooks. They're kind of simple and, you know, no fuss in a lot of ways, uh, but they do a lot of the things that we want. So like really, really nice uh, fountain pen friendly paper, um, nice simple designs, uh, and then some sort of more luxurious kind of stuff that tends to just be a little bit uh, fancier, um, although maybe not quite as fountain pen friendly as the others. This was three notebooks from my paperclip here in Australia, the limited edition, the executive series and the signature series. Um, I hope you found this video interesting and useful. Uh, and I think these are definitely notebooks worth considering. And as their distribution expands, uh, one that I think will actually pick up quite a bit of momentum uh, here in Australia and hopefully overseas. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, hit the notifications button, all of that kind of stuff. If you've got products you think I should be looking at, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, if you've got a way you'd like to support the channel, I would really love to hear from you. It's your support that makes this channel possible. A big thank you to my paperclip for providing these uh, notebooks for review. Uh, they're, as I said, I really enjoy them, particularly that executive series, and the, uh, there's so much I like about all of them. It's it's kind of they all have such strong uh, strong features. Uh, it's really nice to see. So once again, big thank you. In the meantime, whatever you're writing on and whatever you're writing with, I'll talk to you soon.